Warning. This channel is for adults only. I do not condone any illegal activities, and everything I record is for educational purposes only. Warning. With that said, I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. Yo, are my plants ready to chop? Nah, fool. Two more weeks and some CalMag. So many new growers jump the gun on chopping their plants and end up with super hairy bud that's undeveloped. Patience is key when it comes to chopping and there's a definite science that has been proven throughout the history of growing, so please don't try to defy it. One clue on how to know when to harvest is by looking up your strain. Information on how long it takes to flower is usually available and it'll give you a good estimate, but I wouldn't follow it to a T. As you get closer to harvest, you'll notice that buds will start to get dense and at times, they'll be too heavy to stand on their own. There are several reliable signs in knowing when your plant is close to harvest. One sign is when the fan leaves start to yellow throughout the plant. This is a natural process called senescence, which is the plant's last ditch effort to absorb the remaining nutrients in the leaves to make big fat buds. Yellowing is common at the end of harvest, but if it's before week six of flowering and only on the lower leaves, it's likely due to nutrient deficiency and you may want to up your feeds. The second sign is when pistils change color from white to brown. Pistils are the little white hairs sticking out of the bud sites and make up the majority of the cola and buds when they are younger. When almost all of them are brown and start curling in towards the bud, you're getting close. At this point, the buds will be nice and fat and the length of the pistils will be short. However, Keep in mind that some strains have pistols that never brown, so this isn't the best method for knowing when to harvest. The absolute best method to know when your plants are ready to chop is to use a jeweler's loop to take a closer look at the trichomes. Trichomes look like little glass mushrooms and their colors are either clear, milky white, or brown in order from youngest to oldest. Once you see some of the signs that the plants are getting close to harvest, begin looking at the trichomes every other day. I find that trichomes on the sugar leaves always brown a lot earlier than the bud sites, so take a look at the trichomes on the buds themselves, preferably in the middle of the bud and on a bud site that is level with the majority of the other buds. Clear trichomes means that buds aren't ready yet and it's confusing for new growers to distinguish the difference between clear and milky without any references. When trichomes are clear, they look like glass or clear ice. Milky or opaque trichomes look like frost from far away and close up, they look like older frosted ice cubes. When trichomes are milky, it means that your bud is at peak THC levels. At this point, this is where you make the decision on when to harvest based on what type of high you prefer. Similar to the difference in indica and sativa strains, trichome colors also have different types of highs. If you want more of a head high, a milky trichome is what you should aim for. If you want more of a full body, couch lock type high, wait until about 50% of the trichomes look amber. Amber trichomes just means that THC has converted to CBN, so the psychoactive effects is more numbing and for pain relief. Personally, I prefer a cerebral high. So as soon as I see all milky trichomes, I start to flush my plants, which means to feed it just plain water to flush out any remaining salts in the soil. I'll do this for about 10 days before I finally chop my plant and move on to drying. Again, the main point is to make sure that you do not harvest when the trichomes are clear because THC will not have developed by then. Now, if you're still confused, 
Help is available on our Discord community, and you could message me direct over there. Check the pinned comment for a link, and for more exclusive content, check out our site. Peace, Gromies. I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. How we grow, mother lover?